In this video, I will show you a gasifier that produces 10 or more times less tar than the Imbert gasifier. A little introduction. Those who have been watching my channel since 2013, know that I am always offering up-to-date designs of gasifiers, both small and large. After reading about 600 books and hundreds of articles about large and small gasifiers, I understood that pre-World War II designs were based on the Imbert hourglass combustor model one way or another. Modern equipment and electronic sensor systems have made a breakthrough in gasifying. Grandaddy Imbert had long since been surpassed. Today, there are an incredible number of new gasifiers. For example, there are tar-free ones, where only one fabric filter is needed before feeding the gas into the engine. I have suggested their designs in previous videos. This gasifier also includes only one fabric filter. But today I would like to show a very interesting gasifier model, in my opinion, which I somehow already tried to make, but the lack of equipped laboratory and equipment did not allow me to check its exact characteristics, i.e. tar content or gas composition. I found modern studies on this model with all the figures and dimensions. Now I will show you this model and tell you about it, and those who need sketches can call me on WhatsApp under the video. Let's start. A few more words for you to understand the advantages of this modern model compared to the older ones. All existing homemade models that could be found on the internet are in one way or another based on the hourglass-shaped combustor discovered in 1933 by Imbert. In those days it had great advantages for wood-fire-fueled cars, yielding 1 gram of tar per 1 cubic meter of gas. The fuel moisture content should not exceed 20% because increasing humidity resulted in a sharply growing amount of tar. And also it was extremely important to keep the exact size of the fuel cubes or lumps, up to 5 cm for cars and up to 8 cm for trucks. Give or take. Discovering this combustor was a breakthrough that allowed gasifiers to be placed on cars as such, but at the same time, the combustor was its weakest point. Cast entirely from 8 mm thick mild steel, it could last no more than three months in the daily operation of a semi-truck. Aluminizing increased its lifespan to six months. Stainless steel prolonged it even a bit more, but not much. The maximum the Germans squeezed out from a combustor made of heat-resistant stainless steel was 40,000 kilometers. I talked about this in my documentary A Vehicle on Firewood. But casting heat-resistant stainless steel is a luxury, unaffordable and unfeasible in our conditions. And even a heat-resistant combustor cracked, so Imbert made gasifiers collapsible enabling to cut and re-weld combustors and repair hoppers that also cracked. This required making a separate oversized flange to take out the inner hopper like a matryoshka. All of this complicates the design. Now I will show you an easier to make and more durable gasifier which is made from a piece of ordinary pipe, like my lidless gasifiers that I make to order in Kiev. Besides, its tar output is not 1 gram per 1 cubic meter, as for Imbert gasifiers, but from 0.002 to 0.1 grams, which is approximately 10 to 50 times less. My viewers know about the tar gas problem firsthand. It's when the pre-packed filters get completely clogged after a short period. Also, the modern gas generator is undemanding for the size of the fuel. There is no hang-up problem, or it is minimized compared to the hourglass combustor. I have to say that there are many such gasifier variations. These are so-called tar-free gasifiers where condensate or water discharged by filters is transparent and practically clean. I know at least five types of such industrial gasifiers and a few small ones that I would be happy to produce in Europe. If you would like to be my partner, please call WhatsApp under the video. This model is suitable for simple people, i.e. most of my viewers who want to weld a gasifier at home for themselves cheaper, without a complicated cascade fuel loading system, and without level sensors and control electronics. Simple, inexpensive, reliable, without hang-ups, and undemanding to fuel size. Enough with the words. Let's look at it. It is made from an ordinary 219 mm pipe. This unit uses the so-called cascade system, i.e., two belts, of air supply. Our engineers, like Krohn in 1953, 
had already tested such a system, and it produced gas with less tar, but its hourglass-shaped combustor greatly complicated its design. Crone made it a step further. His design was better than Imbert's, but the hourglass combustor had to be cast as a whole, which was cumbersome. Another advantage of this gasifier is the filter system. Here it's contactless. This means that you don't have to fill drums with sawdust, and then pull out the tarred mixture and replace it with new padding. The filters themselves are made in the form of tube heat exchangers, which are very easy to clean after a very long period. The efficiency of this gasifier, in terms of heat, is 89.7% instead of 66% of the Imbert downdraft model due to the gas heat loop back through the tubular heat exchangers into the system. This means that it consumes 23% less wood. Due to the greater efficiency, it also consumes less air, which means lower system resistance. Consequently, the engine fill factor will be higher. Simply put, if you get electricity with it, the power of the electricity generator will be higher by the above given number. The entire system resistance is less because the filters are open heat exchanger tubes with enhanced external cooling. They are more efficient than padding because the tubes are cooled by the airflow. If air is blown on the tube, the heat dissipation increases by 25 times compared to not blowing. The gasifier works more efficiently due to the heat loop back from the heat exchangers to the reactor. This makes the process go better and less air is needed. Previous Imbert type downdraft gasifiers could produce 2.2 cubic meters of wood gas from 1 kilogram of dry wood while this unit produces 2.78 cubic meters. The mixture becomes more caloric and the engine power becomes higher. This is an elegant gasifier in every sense. There is enough heat withdrawn from the tubular heat exchangers to reduce tar and even dry wood chips with hot air. Here are its schematics. Scientists have been improving this model for quite a long time. Three prototypes were made and tested before they came to the final model. The caloric value of the gas here is 1,175 kilocalories, and the tar content is from 20 to 100 milligrams per 1 cubic meter instead of 1,000 milligrams with Imbert. This gasifier was designed for 13 kilowatts of electrical power, but I can design a more powerful one. It is made from a piece of 219 pipe, which is quick and inexpensive. My WhatsApp is always online. Indian prices with German quality. Your friend forever Mithun Chakraborty.